Hello, veteran 0 and 2 in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy Dimensions. You gotta help us fight the other airship. Yeah, we gotta stop him. He's being a jerk. Yeah, it's got us. We're the weapons. Actually, we're not mad. We're quite happy. So come on already. Hurry up. Time's a wasting. Oh, okay. We can do that. Electronic gates. What? You get all. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This stuff. Yeah, whisper weed. Yeah, if you played any of the other pre- well, if you played Final Fantasy IV, you always knew that was Whisperweed. No big surprise there. I guess they figured they had to reveal that for people that haven't played any other Final Fantasy games. But, if you haven't played other Final Fantasy games, how would you know about this one? I guess, I don't know. Well, we don't know you that well. Alright, this is the Heliogabulus. What a stupid name for an airship. <laughs> Just rolls off your tongue. Looks like I go to the north, but yeah, of course, I gotta check the south first. Wait a minute, there's two fucking doors! Oh, I guess we can't use that one yet. We got some new enemies, Gustav and Couriers. Ow, what the frick? How was up with that nonsense? But yeah, I have a feeling Ramu is going to be uh, extremely useful in this part, as you just saw there. Wow, a lot of HP. A lot of HP, Thundara. Damn. Don't want to die. Well, 
don't know, do you got any new goodies? Same shit. What about... Magic? Any new magic? Of course not, okay. Alright. Let's do this shit. No, no, go back up. Or down, I should say. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, hey, buddy. Were we supposed to try to avoid him? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Too late for that now. Eh? Bullshit. What? I don't have the right thing equipped on him? What the fuck? I could have sworn I had red shoes equipped on him. Do I not have red shoes equipped on him? enemies in this game sometimes, they just got way too much HP. Die. I said die. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Where's that? Oh, I don't have red shoes with this party. Never mind, I was thinking about... See, that's the problem with having two different parties. Uh, you get confused at which parties have what items. Oh well, minor gripe. Old needle. Alright, after that last battle, you saw me there getting a chest or whatever, I did a shit ton of leveling. As you can see, my levels are a lot higher now. Uh, yeah, I'm on job level 16 with Aegis. Might as well go over his abilities. Uh, yeah, Double Hand, I believe, is a level 14 Paladin ability. Basically, it's like the two-handed ability in Final Fantasy V. Uh, it's just, you get, like, more attack power uh, because you hold the weapon with two hands and uh, got some other abilities like damage greater than HP recovers MP proportional damage suffered I don't know what that's about I probably won't use it at least I won't use it right now um, holy blade let's see what else I got under here magic and skills holy blade Okay, I got up to guard so far there. And I did get double cast with Sarah. So now she has white magic equipped and she can double cast white magic as a white mage. Also, um, yeah, I got her pretty close to maxing out uh, the white mage job class. Yeah, I do have red, red mage uh, master. D double cast is amazing. And let's see, with Soul, I have Red Mage Mastered. I got all the way to level 16 in Thief, learned the Mug ability. And I have him as a Memorist right now. And I just gotta say this, Memorist with Double Cast is freaking amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. It is freaking ridiculously amazing. Why? You have access to all the different types of magic. I have access to White Magic. 
I got access to friggin' black magic summons and magic blade, not battle arts, that's not magic. But yeah, white black summon magic blade, all accessible while a memorist. Of course, you have to use a memorandum ability, and it's random, so double cast might not always appear. And this uh, isn't very good if you're trying to um, if you're trying to do auto battle. But I'll show you how ridiculously powerful it is here in a second. Once we get attacked again. Maybe we'll have to fight a boss. Alright, bring out the whisper weed. Sixty-one C. But yeah, at this point I was getting rather frustrated with my party being um, rather lackluster, so to speak, for lack of a better term. So I decided to level them up a little bit. And I, I should be a lot more powerful now. Now that I have double cast with two characters, that'll be really nice. So anyways, yeah, this guy will be gone. Now, memorandum, memorandum, nah, see, I didn't get it this time. But I still, nah, see, that sucks. Not what I was looking for there. That's alright, though. Oh yeah, here we go, double cast. As you can see, white magic spells that we've gained, all of them to this point we can use. All black magic spells that we've gained up to this point we can use. Summons. All the summons that we've acquired. And magic blade. Every single magic blade ability that we can use. And this one's the most interesting right here. Curative Slash. It's only 8 magic points. Restores HP to the attacked target. So, you can actually use physical attacks to heal your party members. You can also drain HP from an enemy as well with this one. Uh, if you need MP, you can use Osmotic, Osmotic Slash. If you want to stone enemies, you can do that. Drowsy, yeah, sleep, poison, and then you have three elemental slashes, burning, freezing, and arcing. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And... This is probably going to be amazing. I mean, look at that. Hell yeah, man. That is freaking amazing. Yeah, Arcing Slash, that's uh, Lightning Elemental. It's a little random with Memorist because of the uh, Memorandum and not being able to choose your abilities. I'm actually kind of... Sorry that I leveled up Soul as a Thief because that just puts more abilities there uh, to be randomized to show up that I might not want. So if I if I play this game again, I'll probably just you know with one character level up Red Mage and then level up Mer Memorist, and that's probably be all you need really when you think about it. Because double cast right there, that's all you really need, man. Great thing about the Memorist. Equipment draw. You can equip any kind of equipment you want. I mean, I got a shield on him, uh, but he can equip stuff like boomerangs as well, so I can put him in the back row, and he can attack enemies in the back row because uh, throwing weapons or projectile weapons ignore row, enemy row. And you can be in the back row yourself, so that's really good. Assassin Dagger, interesting. What's this about? Sometimes causes death. Raises speed. Doesn't look too bad. I think I'd rather have the Rising Sun just because I can be in the back room with it. And, uh... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not bad. 
So I've read. I've actually read on a bunch of facts and forums or whatever online that a lot of people think the memorist job sucks. I beg to differ. Right now I'm pretty damn impressed with it. I wouldn't put it on a mage. But for the kind of character that I have with Soul, I think it works pretty damn good. Like right now, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take out two of these guys right here in the back row because they got this guy in front. I mean, that's just amazing. Hell yeah. Now yeah, let's attack. I don't have anything for her to do. Yeah, I'm starting to kick ass and take names now. Do the same thing again. Only eight magic points. Add elements to your attack. Do a ton of damage. It's only going to get better, too, uh, as I raise his strength as a memorist if I find more memories. Oh, look at that. It's another fucking Imperial soldier. Hey, guy. What's this? Get him! Whoa, a Geo Ornament. Holy shit. What's this about? Well, I'm not gonna fuck around with this guy. Ow. <laughs> He's doing way more damage than, uh, than I just right now. Uh, ah, see, this time I only got it once. It's just regular magic play, but whatever. Oh yeah. See you later, buddy. <laughs> what the hell is this? A cottage. Oh, I opened the door. Oh, and that takes us outside, huh? That's nice. Actually, you know what? That's really nice. Because... I can go back in here, and I can save my game again, and how much gold do I have? Gil, I should say. Yeah, as you can see, I have, you know, 350,000 gil now. I had under, like, I think it was under uh, 10,000 before I started leveling up. So if you do decide to level up in this place, uh, well, that's a good idea. You can rack up some gil fairly easily. And, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy Dimensions. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the Helio Gabulus. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.